Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Comedy Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make some delightful chorizo breakfast tacos. Super delicious, super easy to make, and only 45 ingredients. 10 ingredients, 20, maybe 30 minutes to make. That plus jokes, coming up right now. All right, today I'm gonna to be making some breakfast tacos using the fresh salsa that I showed you guys how to make a few weeks ago. Make sure you check that recipe out if you haven't seen it yet. It's, uh, it's a good one, right? Right? It's everything you could want in a breakfast. Eggs, sausage, fresh veggies, a warm tortilla. I mean, seriously, what could possibly be better than starting your day off with tacos? Besides, what else are you gonna do with your morning? Ben, your boss is on the phone. All right, chorizo, breakfast tacos, let's get started. All right, for starters, I've got a large pan here, and this particular pan that I own sucks, okay? Everything sticks to this pan, so I know that I'm gonna need a little bit of extra oil. So I'm gonna start off by heating up a tablespoon of some oil over medium, medium high heat. If your chorizo is oily and you've got a nonstick pan, you might not have to do this, but I know I have to. And we'll just go ahead and let that heat up. All right, let's add in six ounces of chorizo. And we'll stir this up a little bit. Now, you can let this cook for four to five minutes until your chorizo's done, then add in your other stuff. I like to cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes, let some of the water cook off of the chorizo. It gets really nice and crispy. It's got a great texture, but the choice is really up to you. Me personally, I like to slow things down in the morning. Start my day off right, you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. All right, our chorizo is starting to snap and crackle and pop a little bit. Wait, is that copyright infringement? All right, let's add in a half of a large white onion and one large sliced poblano chili pepper. Now the difference between a poblano pepper and a green bell pepper is that a poblano... What is the difference? I'm just gonna Wikipedia this real quick, if you guys don't mind. Poblano. A poblano pepper is not that different than a green bell pepper. It just has a little bit more heat. And the reason why I like it more is that it sounds fancier, but you can easily substitute with a green bell pepper. So we'll stir this up a little bit. And we'll let this cook for about eight to 10 minutes until our veggies start to soften up. All right, our veggies are cooked. They're nice and soft. Uh, the smart thing to do now would probably be to remove this from the pan and then cook our eggs separately, but uh, I don't know, F it, it's fine. Let's just push this all the way to the side and let's drop the heat. Make sure your pan cools off a little bit so we don't burn these eggs. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil because again, my pan sucks. All right, now let's add in four beaten eggs. Let's give it a good pinch of salt. You probably don't need too much though because the chorizo is pretty salty. Let's let these eggs cook a little bit and then we'll scramble this all together. All right, my eggs are cooked almost all the way through, so let's scramble everything together. This pan's gonna be a real bitch to clean out after this recipe, you know what I mean? All right, I think this looks cooked to perfection, so let's turn the heat off and set this aside. All right, I've got some warm tortillas here. You'll probably want about eight to 10. If you don't know how to heat up tortillas, well, you're in luck because I did a video about that last week, so make sure you check that one out. All right, let's take a tortilla here. Let's spoon in some of our filling, a little bit of cheese. Let's top it with a little bit of my fresh homemade salsa. Let's hit it with some thinly sliced fresh radish. You know, I always thought it was kind of weird that they call them breakfast radishes, but I guess whoever invented radishes was also eating tacos for breakfast. And let's finish it off with a little bit of fresh torn cilantro. Now, doesn't that just look delicious? If you have fun, remember to hit that. All right, if you had fun, hit me with a thumbs up. And remember to hit that subscribe button because I have got another delicious taco recipe coming out next week and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we'll see you then.